All right, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to leverage Apex uh, REST data sources to pull from OCI REST services. So the simple example here is we've got an object storage bucket. Um, the object storage bucket, bucket has various images and a CSV. And what we want to do is, in our application, be able to, to access this data right, um, in its simplest form. So uh, what I did to start with was actually just make simple REST calls. So uh, for example, here I, I, I'm using um, Postman to test out that I have the right REST endpoint. So I can just test it before I, I get to Apex. So I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> in this case uh, see that that works. Uh, next, over inside of Apex, I'm going to go into our application, Shared Components, the first thing I'm going to do is create a web credential uh, for the OCI tenancy that I, that I need to access. So I'm going to go here. We're going to say this is the cloud infrastructure. We're going to do... Okay. Um, the first thing I need to get is the OCI user ID. Some of this will be repeat if you've used OCI a lot, but the easiest way in your tenancy is to go up here. Oops. Click on your identity. There it is. Just go ahead and hit copy. Okay, next is the tenancy ID. All right, so let's go up here. Tenancy. Copy. And we'll come back. All right, now we've got the, the OCI fingerprint. Um, this does require a few steps, which I won't cover in this video to create a fingerprint, but um, it's very easy to get to. So you, you essentially go under your identity and you go under your API keys. Uh, you will, when you create an API key, you'll upload a, 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 a PIM, uh, PIM key uh, of a form public and it'll generate this fingerprint for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the fingerprint. All right, and last but not least, we have our private key. So, all right, now we have uh, everything set up. So I'll hit create on our credential. We'll go back uh, to our work, our application itself. Shared components, and now we want to go down here to REST data sources. We're going to create a new REST data source from scratch. We're going to select our OCI uh, as as the uh, the type. And now is where we really want to go get the endpoint that we tested earlier. So. Grab that. One of the cool things, it just kind of parse, right? So here's our, our namespace uh, for our bucket. Um, this is the name of our bucket. And we want to say, you know, we're going to list all the objects. That's kind of the format we've got going on there. So I hit next. For authentication, we will need to authenticate. And we want to select our OCI REST credential. I will note here, you can create a new credential here. Uh, as well, uh, if you wanted to create it on the fly. Um, next, I'm going to hit Discover. And you can see that it's able to access the information and bring back the same data we showed earlier. And we're going to create the REST data source. Now, once this is created, um, you're able to access it, you know, from the wizards. So essentially. In your application, you could, you know, create a new page and have a report on the page, and use the REST data source as the the data for the report. And there we go. That's how easy it is to pull in. Uh, information from REST services. Now, clearly, you'd add more development to this. You link it out, you build out your application. But if you need to know how to do a quick connection, that's how you do it. 